Yeah. <laughs> Jess looks like Mary Magdalene only ate cake at the Last Supper. You know, because she's a fat whore. I feel like Queenie is what conservatives see under their beds at night. Yeah. Go ahead, slender them. Yeah. I feel like when Jess was born, God asked a question. What if toxic masculinity was a woman? And now we know. Thanks, Jess. All right, Meth Curry, I feel <laughs> You gotta trim the last pound somehow. Yeah. I feel like, uh, I feel like you're what would happen if Disney bought out the NBA. <laughs> yeah. proof that sometimes it really doesn't get better. <laughs> sometimes you just turn into a criminal. <laughs> Honestly, check her bag on the way out. You're gonna find that microphone in it. This is how little I trust her. I don't even think that's her hair. Um, yeah. I mean, God. <laughs> Uh, Queenie's uh, quite the activist, uh, but I feel like if no. MLK knew you were the future, he would have kept, kept that dream to himself. <laughs> Ro yeah, Rosa oh Parks God. would have walked for sure, yeah. <laughs> so, never mind. I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but she's like super obsessed with me. <laughs> just, I just want you to know, I'm gay. Oh my God, it's never gonna happen. I never fuck women who are, like, less hot than I am. <laughs> Here's the thing, though. I feel like Jess looks like Janis Joplin survived and just decided she was just gonna do different drugs. <laughs> you know, she was supposed to be my ride today, and she was like, hey, do you wanna take pills and pass out in the river? I was just like, Kevin, can we find a different ride? <laughs> I did say that today, yeah. yeah. I read it to my boss. They're like, who are you? Yeah. You know, Queenie is quite the fashion icon, isn't she? Yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah, they say to, they say to wear your hobbies on your sleeve, and I guess that yeah. explains the anal beads hanging off the back of her head. It's called a bubble braid. I thought you were a hairdresser. <laughs> oh wait, I forgot to look at your hair. <laughs> anyway though, give it up for Amy Halfway House. <laughs> She's been amazing so far. You think, she admits to this, she shoplifts like a bitch. Mm -hmm. She really does. Okay, she shoplifts like crazy, which is crazy because if you're just gonna spend that much time in Target and you're in aisle four, just shoplift a personality. Like what's going on? They're 50% off. What is your excuse? Now we know where you got your shoes. She liked uh, it. <laughs> she didn't like your bangs, though. Yeah. The bangs were a bad choice, okay? I understand that, though. Also, you have anal beads on the back of your head. Uh, I know what I like. Tell a joke. Shut up, King Tuck. Uh... <laughs> Queenie... <laughs> Queenie is black 
fucking gay. <laughs> Half. <laughs> All right, Queenie's half black and very gay. The gay makes up for the lack of black. <laughs> it's, it's fine, it goes to show you can take two negatives and turn them into an HIV positive. <laughs> Second time. I told my doctor that was private. <laughs> one more, one more. No, two more, Kevin. Shut the fuck up. Alright, fine, whatever. No one likes you, you bald bitch. <laughs> Alright, well. Here's the thing. Shut up, Jess. Okay. Everyone has their favorite porn category, right? I know you do. I can see it in your eyes. But for Jess, it's mean aunt bullies high schooler out of lunch money. Doesn't Queenie dress like she's like 95% of the way done? Why? Like, you, you just always look like somebody just snatched your wig off your head. <laughs> all right, all right. These just... bitches are treacherous. Yeah. Pageants are hard. <laughs> Here's the thing though, Jessica looks like a rape charge got really into incest porn and forgot to wear a condom. So? Here it is. <laughs> All right, she calls herself Queenie, but by her gaudy makeup and very uncomfortable looking bulge, she looks more like the Goblin King. I. Aren't you just, are you supposed to be fighting against the fact that drag queens are a danger to kids everywhere? All right, no, I fuck hate me. kids. <laughs> fuck those bitches. Yeah, that's the problem, <laughs> sorry. All right, all right, give it up for Queenie and Jess. Queenie and Jess right there, goddamn. Now you guys Woo. talk. Woo, it's like when my mom saw, I, it's like when I saw my mom fist fight someone for a Tickle Me Elmo. Yeah. There we go, I'm gonna start with, I'm gonna start with Nick Cartwright. Nick, you're right over there, I see you right that there. That was an awesome battle. Can you guys give it up over time for that battle? That was fucking sick. That was so much better than the last time I saw them fight, which was for the discount mascara at Thornton's. <laughs> <laughs> she should have known I wanted the Maybelline. Um, no, both of you guys, I mean, uh, Jess had some real slammers. Uh, Queenie is the only person to ever make me laugh at a she didn't like your bangs joke, though. Like, I, usually I don't laugh, laugh at the bangs joke, but uh, I gotta give it to Jess just because of the slammers. The, she had some really, really All good right. jokes there. Because of the slammers, one for Jess, Katie Kincaid. My God, I, I know one of you is a drag queen, but I can't tell which one. <laughs> Oh my God, this was, this was a fucking banger. The top, that's a headlining battle if I've ever seen one. That was so good, so fucking good. God, Queenie, you really put the bitch in Queenie bitch, I will say. Oh man, and Jess, just the, the, the anal beads joke, the Queenie with the yeah comeback. I did not see that coming, that was amazing. But just, God, Jess is just a fucking monster, you know, just a monster. And I, I had to give the Jess just because of the, uh, the Grand Slams there. Two for Jess, two for Jess, Brandon Kiefer. Yeah, that was fantastic. <laughs> I, I love your heels, Queenie. I've never seen heels in a men's size 14. <laughs> it's a 15. <laughs> either, either way, either way, you bought it from a hardware store. <laughs> I, I'd put them under my car when I changed the tire, for sure. Um, <laughs> And Jess, you're the reason women get paid less. Um, <laughs> I thought that was fantastic. That's a headlining fucking battle. Queenie, you ruled. Your comebacks were fantastic. But Jess has a heart of blackness. All right? <laughs> and I'm giving it to Jess. Jess has got it. Jess has got it. Here we go. Here we go. Who wants it? Mr. Matt Batmore, how are you? 
Queenie's heels are taller than Brandon. <laughs> Dude, that was a fucking amazing battle. Queenie, it takes some balls to do what you did. Luckily, you got him. And... <laughs> That was fucking sick! Dude, and Queen, he's Queen had canceled. Two. Yeah. <laughs> Who gives a fuck? I, uh, I don't have a career to begin with. That's fair. Dude, that was an amazing... You had two one-word comebacks. That was fucking awesome, dude. Uh... Uh, I love I loved your joke about Jess's hair. At least Jess has the audacity to cut off what she hates about herself. <laughs> okay. Okay, Matt Bamworth versus Quinny, bitch, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> it's okay, I don't give a fuck. You guys are both girthy in different ways, and that's fun. <laughs> That's fun. Fucking amazing battle, tops to bottoms, and holy shit, I mean, uh, this one's one for the generations. Both of you are fucking amazing roasters. It kills me to pick a winner. I think I'm gonna give it to Queen. I think Queenie had, I've been going highest highs all night. Queenie had the highest highs. My vote goes to Queenie. Great fucking job. You're an amazing comedian, you should know. Mr. Chris Greco, wrap us up. Damn, dude. One thing I took away from that battle is the lesbians loved you very much. That really was Queer Eye for the straight guy. I mean, I've never seen two dudes wannabe chicks so bad on stage. Yeah, that's good. I like Jess, that. your, the, I mean, Jess, your Disney joke with the combination of Queenie's like riff at the end was one of my favorite things I've ever seen on Rosebud. That was just, it was just so funny. Queenie's comebacks your whole time was, it was amazing. Jessica, your HIV positive joke was one of my favorites. This is just so great. Uh, I want to give it for Queenie because I loved your comebacks that whole time and I think that's what made that, that extra level of special for that battle. You guys are awesome, thank you for doing it. Give it up for Queenie! Give it up!